Well, Hunter Biden's legal team has taken to heart the old phrase, sometimes the best defense is a good offense. They've called for criminal investigations into those who have accused Hunter's personal data from the infamous laptop, which has become the focal point of a House oversight investigation. A recent Washington Post article reads, the new strategy marks a calculated risk that is better to forge a combative path and take on Biden's longtime critics, even if it means inviting more news coverage of a darker chapter in his life. Well, joining us now to offer his insight into this strategy is Harvard Law professor and analyst uh, and Newsmax analyst, uh, Alan Dershowitz, the author of The Price of Principle. Professor, always good to see you. So let me ask you this. This Washington Post story basically says that Hunter's legal team is going to go on offense and they're going to go after people like Rudy Giuliani and Steve Bannon. But from what I understand, if they do that, that opens them up to this legal idea of discovery that Hunter, that they could then go find, show me all your emails, show me all your text messages, go under, uh, you know, uh, come under deposition and we're going to ask you all these questions. So is this a smart strategy or is this reckless? Nobody knows unless you know how much Look, when I was reduced, I went all out. And I said, I don't care. Depose me hour after hour. I have nothing to hide. I fought back. And the result was a good one. Uh, if he is innocent, he should be fighting back. He shouldn't have to fear uh, depositions. That's my kind of strategy, generally. And so I approve of it. If, on the other hand, he has an enormous amount to hide, then he can't really afford to bring lawsuits because that does open him up to discovery, depositions, interrogatories, and it can make your life miserable, as it did mine. And it, it could cost you fortunes of money, as it did mine. But if you want to, in the end, uh, show your uh, innocence and have the truth come out, being aggressive is a far better strategy than being passive and letting them just go after you without any response. So I fully sympathize and understand with him, though it might backfire, depending on the facts. Uh, understood. But here's the reality. I don't believe you had a laptop that laid out your emails and your and, and had your photos and videos and text messages. I mean, I, I guess my point is they're going after these guys for what? For saying that they're defaming the guy. But what they're claiming is everything that's laid out in a laptop that has emails, photos, videos, text. If your case is you're defaming the guy, to your point, it's one thing if you're making that up. It's another if it's corroborated by factual evidence that's laid out on the laptop. Well, it depends on what's corroborated. Uh, obviously, the laptop makes it much, much more difficult uh, for him because it's there. By the way, the laptop's going to come out whether he brings a lawsuit or not. Uh, and if you're a public figure and the son of the president's a public figure, you have to show malice. That is, you have to show reckless disregard for the truth. And if there is a laptop, uh, then it will be easier for the defendant to show, no, we didn't do anything malicious. There was a basis for it. But, you know, there's a big difference between a person doing things that we shouldn't have done, uh, which clearly is true of, of Hunter Biden, and, and the statements made about him uh, being true, they could both be, both can be the fact. That is, the statements made about him could be reckless. I'm not saying they are. I don't know the facts in this case. And on the other hand, he could have done bad things that are on the laptop. Uh, and so, you know, this is, a, this is a moving parts situation. We, we don't know. And it's the more he sues, the more stuff will come out. But the more he remains silent, the more inferences. Uh, this is a this is a, a, a bloodbath, uh, you know, a blood sport. And litigation today has become a blood sport. And my one advice to anybody is: don't start litigation unless you can afford to finish it. Um, I learned Correct. that lesson myself, and how expensive <laughs> this thing can be. But if you you know if you think you've been defamed, if you think you've been falsely accused. If you don't fight back, uh, people will assume that there's something to the charges. Well, as always, I appreciate your legal insight, so thank you. Thank you. Bye.